So um, we're gonna start with drawing the, the the chest area, which will go something like this. Just make an oval right there, and draw a line that goes down like this, and then this will be the 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 bottom, like the floor or something. And then he has. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a he because I am not sure. And please don't get mad at me for calling it a, calling it a he because uh, a lot of people just get mad for some reason if I mispronounce the gender, which is a little bit strange to me because I don't mean anything by it. It's just I just want to show you guys how to draw something, you know. So yeah. So <clears throat> this is gonna be the um, like the. Uh, what's it called? Like the the side of the uh, the belly. <laughs> so this is gonna be where the belly is gonna gonna go, and then we have something like that. So he has very big shoulders actually, and then over here we're gonna have a very big uh, leg that comes out, and over here as well, and they come down like this. And over here will be the toes, I guess. And over here as well. So I'm just very roughly roughing in the shapes and everything. And then we see the, uh, the like the tail going down to the ground because the tail of Shin Godzilla is very, very big and long. So that's actually the way that's gonna be. So this is not a pose that I came up with. This is just a um, like a drawing based on reference that I'm looking at right now because um, I didn't really get the time to uh, or I was just too lazy to to practice so didn't really uh, practice a lot which is <laughs> pretty much pretty wrong to be honest but yeah you have to put some some time into your uh, yeah, what you want to do so this looks very rough and everything but this is what's gonna be the uh, arms over here and over here and now the hands are very strange looking so normally the hands would be facing the ground like this but in Shin Godzilla the hands are more like this almost like like he's um, well doing something like a uh, a pose, a cool looking pose or something while screaming. So what we want to do is we want to draw a shape like this over here. That's going to be part of the hand. Then we can see three claws uh, right here like this. And he has very small little arms or hands. And just one thumb right here. And then on this one it is more like facing us a little bit so we're, we're gonna draw something like this and I'm sorry if you cannot really see too well what I'm doing but this is basically how I draw um, when I'm not drawing for YouTube to be honest and I'm, I'm just gonna be trying out new things to um, to kind of be able to draw a little bit faster because a lot of youtubers are able to draw very very fast and get very clean drawings but this is the way that I draw fast and it's very hard to um, to follow in my opinion but just let me know if this is okay or if you would just like me to draw the more traditional way that how, how I normally draw do tutorials and stuff all right and then actually, the leg is supposed to be a little bit lower. A little bit more like over there. And I cannot really see the legs too well on this reference. So I'll just have to guess. And I'm just drawing some dinosaur-like looking uh, legs for now because I've got some more different um, got multiple reference photos that's how I usually do this and um, then I just uh, try and improvise with by using all of them so we just want to draw a, a circle like this on top of the neck right there 
And I'm actually drawing the neck a little bit bigger than... Well, actually not. It's just... It looks a little bit thinner. A little bit skinnier than the actual... Um, what's actually supposed to be. But we're gonna fix that later on. So, I'm not sure if you can really see the feet too well, but we'll see. So now we want to draw a line like this over here. A line like this over here. So that's gonna be the jaw. The upper and lower jaw. So the lower jaw is actually shaped like this. And then it goes up like so. And then it just kind of goes like this. And over here as well. Then the upper jaw comes out a little bit. It's a very stumpy nose. And then it's shaped a lot like this. I guess. Maybe I did make the uh, the neck way too long. I did actually. So I could... Uh, let's see. I could erase it a little. Make it a little bit... Like, make his head a little bit uh, smaller. Which would make it look a little bit better. So you just go with the same principle again. Just draw a circle over here. Then just draw the... The lines for the jaws. Like so. And then just draw the jaws around them. And this is basically what it looks like. Like that. And then you can just... Uh, add some of these well this is hard to draw to be honest so what you can just do is draw uh, things like this on on his back and then just attach these things to it because that's basically what's on the back of Shin Godzilla and it's pretty hard to draw in my opinion we'll see if you can do it so this isn't going to be very accurate because this is my first sketch of the day. But um, yeah, like I said, we will see what what we can create, what comes out of it. So what I usually do at this point is I've got the basic sketch of the uh, creature in place right now. So now... It is basically time to... Uh, let's first finish the hand a little, like so. So now it's basically time to erase most of it and look at it in a pretty, in a little bit of a finer perspective and everything. So I've got multiple reference photos, like I said, and you can... <coughs> see a little bit uh, of what it what his head is supposed to look like basically and everything and yeah so he has an eyebrow he has an eye right there right there and then there's an eyebrow that goes like this basically and maybe this is supposed to be a little bit more pointy and what it is right now and the shape could also be adjusted a tiny little bit all right so we've got well let's see what his feet actually look like so his feet are not really looking like dinosaur feet they are a little bit more um, well a little bit more uh, well what do you call that just there's a lot more fat around it a little bit more chubby yeah that's the right word and he actually has four toes so that's also something that I got wrong so I've got the I've got to just that one two three four toes and then over here as well, one, two, three, four. And he also has a little one on the side over there, but we cannot really see it. 
So, we have to pay attention to the way that his feet look, or his, his leg looks right now. He does have a little bump right there. Yeah, it looks really messy and I'm really sorry if it's hard to follow, but like I said, this is the way that I draw and I'm just I just like to um, try something something new, something else. And in my opinion, I'm not sure why, but it doesn't really resemble uh, Shin Godzilla at, at all, for my opinion. So I'm just gonna adjust his head, I mean his head, a little bit again, until I get it right. So, his jaw actually goes all the way until there like this and then his upper jaw does something like this and then something like that and then uh, there's a part that comes down like that and I'm not sure why though but it still doesn't really in my opinion doesn't really look right not sure if I'll ever get it right uh, the, the way that I want to have it. it looks more like a lizard at this point but we also have to get in his teeth so um, well that's actually something that we're gonna leave for later when we're gonna erase everything and go over everything to make it look better but let's first focus on his tail for now so his tail goes like this it goes behind his neck like that and then it ends about over here and actually this is supposed to be like this indeed but yeah and that's gonna be uh, basic the basics of the tail and there's gonna be some spikes visible from from over there or actually, actually, the tail goes more like this. So I mess it up again, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna leave it like this because otherwise I'll just have to erase too many times and the tutorial will suffer from it a little bit as well. But yeah, all right. Um, I, all right, I think I know what's wrong. So I'm just gonna angle his this a little bit more like this. And now this looks a little bit more like Shin Godzilla. And I'll have to put in the teeth and everything and I'm sure that later on it will look a lot better. And I'll have to erase this again. Because this isn't at the right angle either. So, yeah, so this is basically what happens when I don't prepare for a tutorial. Right, that looks a little bit better. A little bit. And then the eye is indeed at the right place. like that all right so I'm just gonna erase the lines that we don't need anymore right now and that will be probably in time-lapse or I'll just skip ahead until everything is erased and uh, no, no no it's gonna be in time-lapse because I'm gonna erase everything and I'm, I'm gonna go over everything and you will see the progress of me going over everything as well so I'll be back
Alright, so I am back and um, we came quite far with uh, with the with the drawing itself. I adjusted the head a little bit to make it look a little bit more chunky. And um, it turns out that it, that's exactly what it needed. And um, if it was too quick for you, you could just... Uh, what you could do is you could go to the uh, the settings of this video and slow the video down a little bit so that you can maybe draw along with it but it's not too hard to be honest in my opinion at least but I can imagine that a lot of you people uh, do might might find it a little harder than me but um yeah let's get into the rest of the drawing so we we drew a sort of a spine like this two lines and attached to these two lines are on both sides some spikes so I'm just gonna draw them in right now and they look differently as you progress through the through the tail they start to look a lot different from each other but I'm just gonna uh, first draw it on one side and then draw it on the other side trying to copy same thing as what I did on the on one side I'm just gonna try to reverse or mirror it a little bit Because of the angle, the um, spikes sort of change a little bit as well. Alright, that's looking quite okay. Maybe one more bigger one over there. And then over here we can just see small and little bumps. And let's see. So over here there are a lot of lines that sort of make up a certain shape. But I cannot really make out what it is supposed to be. I think that this is that on his tail there were those uh, of those little creatures, like human-sized Godzilla skeletons, merged with the tail or something. So I could draw a couple of little black uh, or dark figures. Or just some stripes, obviously. And a little bit of shadow. And over here there's supposed to be another head on the tail, I think. But we cannot really see too much of detail over there. So I'll just have to leave it like this. So, now it is time to start finishing these lines. So basically just roll lines like this, go right through the tail, but make them uh, curve, make the lines curved a little, like so, and then do the same thing on the other side. I, uh, I'm now seeing that it's not the same on each side but that's okay it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to look like um, Shin Godzilla so that's something actually that I keep saying if you want to draw something it doesn't have to be perfect 
doesn't have to be completely perfect compared to the thing that you're drawing it just has to look like the thing that you're trying to draw and that would be enough already so now we just draw some bumps on this area just continue on drawing those bumps all right and it is time to finish up this part so this part is different so basically because of the angle of what it's in right now the uh, rimples first go down and they are kind of v-shaped like this and over here as well they are just sort of v-shaped maybe a little bit more like this over here because the way that he is standing at the moment so this is supposed to be changed up a little more like that and this just goes on and on and we just draw well, let's see what the reference looks like so he has an area for his chest like this where his chest is actually coming out a little bit and we can see some it almost looks like some rips and everything and I am not really sure what those are but yeah it's it looks like uh, there are some rips right here and we will be drawing them then he also has um, an area of skin, like a skin flap that goes around like this. It ends all the way at the chest area. And then there's a skin flap right here. Ends right there. And then we can see some extremely, uh, extremely pronounced detail in his neck like this and then over here there's gonna be shapes like this and it's gonna be a lot darker than what it is right now and over here as well there's also some very dark lines and rimples and everything it is really really hard to follow along because I'm drawing quite quickly I imagine for some people and um, I'm sorry like I said it's just something that I wanted to try out and maybe next time I'll just draw like what I would normally do but for some people this might be helpful actually some people might find this to be more helpful than the more traditional videos that I usually do like my own traditional in a way and now we have some very big detailed skin flaps all everywhere over his body but also we we're gonna see a lot of shadow actually but I'm not gonna do too much of a shadow because I'm just gonna shade in the inside of the mouth for now and there's also gonna be a reddish area right there I'm just gonna shade in the inside of the mouth like this and 
And by the way, we can finish off the uh, things that are on his back as well right now. It looks something like this. It's not going to be perfect, but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look a lot like it. Like the actual thing that you see in the movies. And if you find a way to to implement your own style into these things, then it might be 10 times easier to draw it. Just because you, you're all completely in your own element, you know, you're in your own, yeah, you know what I mean. And there are also some spikes coming from his, uh, his body here and there, especially his arms as I can see right now. And we have some highlighted areas right there as well. But we're just going to shadow in these areas a little bit. And there's also going to be some shadow over here. So this way it looks a little bit more realistic in my opinion and we have a lot of these skin folds and flaps and everything that fold around his whole body and his legs and everything be some shadow in between the legs as well but we'll get to that part later because there's gonna be a lot of shadow over here because of the huge muscles that he has so that's actually the reason why this fades away a little bit this drawing turns to turns out to be looking a lot like a sketch a lot more like a sketch than, he, than an actual drawing but it's it's fine I mean like um, like I said I didn't really have uh, the I was too lazy to do a practice rounds a round of doing some sketches and everything and this is the result of not being able to practice But yeah, for a sketch type of drawing, it looks still pretty uh, decent in my opinion. There's gonna be a lot of shadow over here. Because of uh, the chest area is actually above the belly area. His belly is right there. And then there's gonna be some shadow on this side as well. here as well and of course there's gonna be a lot of rimples in the the actual legs as well and they almost directly connect into the uh, into this area and then there's gonna be a lot of shadow over here actually But there is going to be a highlight right there. So one thing that you need to know about shadows and everything is uh, how, how you can detail things with shadow is you have to know that there are places where there's going to be um, a lot of shadow 
but at most of those places there's gonna be some highlights as well and if you don't if you forget to put those highlights in you kind of have the tendency to ruin your drawing sometimes and I'm not speaking of an point of view uh, of that of an expert I'm just speaking of a point of view of an amateur like me and um, I kind of notice that I keep messing up drawings because I forget the way that the shadows work on a particular part of, uh, of a creature or an object So there will be a lot of shadow right here, but again, we have to leave some lighter areas to indicate where there's going to be some uh, light shining onto it. And this is not supposed to be a very shiny, shiny creature or anything, but um, you do have to be able to see where there is some light shining onto it. So if you've ever heard of a computer screen or a TV uh, screen that has like an anti-reflection um, or what do you call that? Like the the glow that the the, the uh, projector or something where the image is projected on. Sometimes you have some very nasty um, reflections of the sun right in the middle of your movie or game if you're playing games and uh, you can buoy them with an anti-reflection -ref sort of uh, function but you can still sometimes see the reflection that's because the light is shining on an object and um, it has to leave some type of reflection that's, there's just always going to be a um, reflection on your shadow. So try and keep your highlights. Try to um, not shadow something completely and make it dark completely because you think that there's not going to be any light right there. Because otherwise you will lose detail. A lot of detail. And uh, I'm speaking from experience at this point. A lot of experience with doing shadows and stuff. And at some areas we can add a lot more shadow. Because we are... Well actually if you want to add some more detail some areas you can add a little bit more shadow so this part is actually very very shiny uh, compared to the rest of the uh, of the creature and I'm guessing that's because this is a, an area that's kind of protruding out of the body quite quite far, I guess. And I just keep on going over those shadowy areas to make it look better. And the eye as well. Um, we can get a lot of shadow into this area because of the way that the eye is positioned inside of a, something like a, a hole or something. And I'm just scribbling by the way, it's not like I'm purposefully uh, selecting areas where I want to have more detail. This area I do want to look at the way that the reference shows it because there are some indents right there that you can sort of see. And 
and I'm at this point like I said I'm adding too much shadow and I just want to leave it like that so I'm just gonna leave it like that I do want to have this finger darkened a little bit but that's all all right so it is starting to look pretty good in my opinion I'm just scribbling at this point all of the details that I still need to like I cannot just make my shadow smooth because of the way that the creature like the, the rendering of the creature is supposed to be very rough so that's why I'm literally like um, scribbling over my paper and actually this is way too dark so I'm gonna erase it a little bit make it just a tiny little bit lighter so that's a little bit lighter that looks a little bit better I do want to make this a little bit darker to pronounce to make his more his jaw a little bit more pronounced like so and on the top as well because that's actually where we want to we want to keep the focus a little bit more just keep on adding some shadow here and there where we need to put it in and again it doesn't really quite look exactly the way that I want it to look but it looks uh, similar and <laughs> I don't think I can get it any better than what I have it right now Alright, so there's also supposed to be some shadowy areas right there. Not really happy with the way that this area looks, but we'll just have to go with it. And just keep on scribbling the shadow in don't make it look too detailed but the way that we're sc just scribbling in the shadow um, it makes it look like there's a little bit more detail in the drawing than what you would expect to see so if you would look at this drawing from a distance you would think that it's really really detailed but in reality it is actually not Let's uh, pronounce the claws a little bit more. So I think this is turning out to be a little bit more of a longer video than I expected it to be. But I guess that's fine because I still want to deliver something that really looks nice. Alright, so let's now get into the tail. The tail is actually farther away, which will create, in a sense, a like if it is um, misty. Um, like in the reference photo that I'm using right now you would see a, like a very a, a quite a fair amount of smoke and this smoke will kind of it will kind of uh, blur out the tail a little bit and that's actually what we're going for with this drawing 
a little bit. And I sort of messed up over here because of the uh, the angle that I draw my lines at. So I need to place my hand differently and try and get the shading in right. Well, that looks a little bit better. So it's slowly fading away a little bit because of the smoke and everything and the mist that we're seeing in my reference. But there are still some areas where you can clearly see the uh, darkness of the, the shade, like the, the tone is very dark in some areas. over here very dark tone over there and over here as well but the detail is just a little bit uh, more smooched Alright, and um, I guess this makes us about done. So, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment below what you think about the video and the drawing in general, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a single video. So this was Dinosaur Drawer, and goodbye.